Our buddy. His dad died when he was a kid, and he still can't talk about it. Oh. Just to be sure, this video contains spoilers. In the Frasier reboot, Frasier Crane returns to Boston. So, inevitably, there are concerns about what happened to Cheers. Frasier was originally located in Boston before reuniting with his family and beginning a career in radio in Seattle, making his return all the more significant and nostalgic. The character's origins may be traced back to Cheers Season 3, when Kelsey Grammer was scheduled to play Diane's rebound boyfriend for a brief period of time. However, he left such an indelible mark on the show that he stayed on after Shelley Long's DNA left in Season 5. Frazier's return to Boston is motivated by his desire to mend his strained connection with his adult son, Freddie. Frazier remained on the East Coast after his divorce from Lilith, only going to Seattle on occasion to see his father's side of the family. Frazier has changed a lot since his previous visit to Sam's. Tell me about this father of yours. Oh, yeah, I, I don't remember that much. You told me he was a pipe fitter from Dorchester. It attempts to honor the character's background while simultaneously taking his tale forward, as shown in the Frasier reboot. However, if that is the case, a visit to Cheers is required, if it is still open. Is Frasier's reboot's Cheers bar still open? The Frasier reboot pilot sets the idea for the new show, and acknowledging Frasier's connection with the city is an important part of it. In his conversation with old buddy Alan Cornwall and new co-worker Olivia at the series' new bar, Mahoney's, Frasier mentions spending so much time at a certain bar. There is no in-universe evidence of Cheers' present status, but Grammer previously stated in an interview that he believes the bar has gone bankrupt. It's unclear whether this will be reflected in the show. Will Frasier's reboot make a stop at the Cheers bar? This one skirt knocked on my door. She had six-inch heels and a four-inch scar. You know what? Assuming the Cheers bar remains operating, there is understandable excitement about the Frasier reboot, perhaps visiting it. Grammar and Cheers co-creator James Burroughs, who also directed the first two episodes of the revival, has remained tight-lipped about the possibility. In any case, given that the Paramount Plus series has already established a brand new hangout spot for Frasier, Freddy, and their colleagues, the chances of the series visiting Cheers are thin to none at this moment. However, if the revival extends past season one, the renowned bar may eventually be featured. The real-life Cheers bar is still open for business. After two decades in existence, the Boston Cheers bar in Phonewall Hall Marketplace, which was a reproduction of the bar in the sitcom, closed its doors in 2020. Owner Tom Kershaw highlighted financial difficulties caused by the coronavirus outbreak. To capitalize on the success of the show, the establishment was opened as a branch location. Beacon Hill's actual Cheers Bar, which inspired the series, is still open for business. The Bull and Finch Pub, which opened in 1969, was subsequently renamed to be more synonymous with Cheers. In fact, the pub is hosting a Frasier relaunch viewing party.